Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So this is the third look of my bridal series. Recently I shared with you a haldi ceremony makeup tutorial and engagement makeup tutorial. And today I'm here with this bridal makeup tutorial. I got a request from one of you to create a bridal makeup series and this is the final look of this series. Of course, I'll be doing more bridal looks. And for today's look, I have created this half cut crease uh, gold and kind of burgundy eye look and paired it with a dark red lipstick hope you guys enjoy watching this video and before starting if you are new to the channel then please take a moment to subscribe and if you are already a subscriber then thank you so much from the bottom of my heart your support means a lot to me so yeah without further blabbering let's get started As always, I'm starting with my brows first. For that, I'm taking my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Black Brown and I'm drawing the borders on my brows first. Then I'll be filling them up using small hair like strokes. I recently shared with you my updated eyebrow routine. If you are interested, I will mention the video in the description bar down below. So please go ahead and check that out. In that video, I shared with you so many tips and tricks to achieve perfect brows each time you do your own makeup. I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Cashew and I'm cleaning up the borders on my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. Whenever you uh, do a full glam party look, make sure to follow this step. It makes a huge difference on the way your brows look. But if you are a beginner and if you uh, want to skip this step, then it's totally fine. I'm applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows that is coming up next. Now I'm just blending it out using a damp sponge. This particular sponge is from Wet and Wild and this is my favorite blending sponge. To set the concealer, I'm going with my Beauty Bakery Flower Bake Loose Powder in the shade Cassava. And the brush that I'm using is from Elf Cosmetics. This is the Elf Highlighter Brush. For my eyes, first I'm taking Mulberry from my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and with this Morphe uh, J15 brush, I am just applying it on my crease. Actually, I have fooded eyes, so I am just placing the color slightly above my crease. I'm going to create a new crease for myself. And this is a beautiful matte a burgundy uh, kind of a shade and it is so pretty. And this particular palette is my absolute favorite the formula is so good they are very very buttery smooth they are not patchy they are not chalky at all and you can get anastasia um, from sephora india's website and um, the makeup evolution reloaded palette in the shade velvet rose is a perfect deal for this one now i'm taking sienna which is a light brown color and i'm just blending out the edges so that there is a smooth gradient effect and you can see how beautifully the shadow is blending and it's creating a beautiful soft effect from a lighter shade to a darker shade the brush that i'm using is again from morphe this is uh, from morphe jeffree star collection I'm taking Noir or Noir, it's a matte black shade and I'm applying it um, right here on my outer V area and the brush that I'm using is again from Morphe um, and yeah I'm just slowly building it up to avoid any kind of patchiness because with this kind of darker shadows they tend to become patchy really quick so make sure to build it up. I'm just cutting my crease actually first I'm just marking the area where I want to place my cut crease and then I'll be filling up um, the gaps using the concealer and the brush that I'm using is from Puna store this is the Puna store lip brush and I'm going with very uh, small strokes because I do not want to mess it up and I'm just reapplying the concealer wherever the brown is peeping through I'm taking mulberry again 
and I am applying it between the black shade and the concealer to create a gradient effect. It will uh, kind of create an ombre look and uh, when um, I will apply my lid shade, it will just look so beautiful. The, the ombre from a darker shade to a lighter shade, it will just look so pretty. I'm taking this beautiful gold shade called bronze and I'm applying it um, right here on the inner part of my eyelid with this flat shader brush again from Morphe and I'm blending it out uh, with the mulberry shade here comes the star of the show this elf liquid glitter eyeshadow in this shade 24k gold and with my finger i'm applying it um, on top of the gold shade as well as uh, on top of the mulberry shade and you can see that mulberry shade just created a beautiful gradient effect i'm reapplying the shade um, once again and i'm just kind of patting it let's see Now with my Wet and Wild Mega Liner, I'm just drawing a wing and I'm really sorry I'm out of frame and there is nothing I can do right now. Before continuing with my eye makeup further, I'm going to finish my base and then I will return to my eye makeup again. For that, I'm taking my current favorite. This is my NYX Marshmallow Primer and I'm just priming my entire face and neck. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. Though this primer is slightly on the pricier side, but According to me, it's totally worth it. It hydrates your skin and it it kind of makes your skin feel really, really uh, velvety smooth. And it also gives your uh, skin a nice amount of tackiness. Your foundation just sticks to it and it becomes long lasting. For color correcting, I'm using my illegal uh, Pro Conceal orange color corrector and I'm applying it wherever I have pigmentation, dark spot, acne spot and dark circle. And you do not need a lot of uh, this product because it is heavily pigmented. So my advice is take a very little amount of product and just blend it. I'm blending out the color character using my Wet and Wild sponge again. And if you are doing your own bridal makeup and if you have a lot of dark spots, pigmentation, make sure to use an orange color corrector it it will just help to neutralize all those darkness underneath and your foundation your concealer will not look grayish in color for my foundation i'm going with my Too faced dewy foundation in the shade sand again it's my one of favorite foundations it is full coverage it gives you kind of a dewy finish and it looks so flawless on my skin i don't know if it is still available or not but if it is still available and you can get your shade totally 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 grab it i highly recommend you getting this foundation it's my absolute favorite it's perfect for people with normal to dry skin For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes, on my chin and on my mouth, on my cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, on the center of my forehead and I'm just blending it out again using the same damp sponge. This concealer is again my one of favorite and I kind of uh, feel that it's better than Tarte Shape Tape. The coverage is there but it's hydrating. Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit on the drying side but it still has got a little bit of hydration in it and it is full coverage. No matter if it is drugstore or high end, I think it's a beautiful concealer. And uh, of course I'm doing cream contour because it's a bridal look and I'm using my Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze for that purpose and I'm doing one section at a time because this concealer tends to settle down pretty quickly and once it does it's really hard to blend so my advice is do one section at a time so if you uh, do a cream contour and then top it off with a powder bronzer then your face just looks a bit chiseled and your contour just lasts all day long
before setting my under eyes i'm just getting rid of all the creases that might have taken place right now and now i'm taking my uh, beauty bakery loose powder again and with the same damp sponge i'm setting my under eye under eye area as well as the, my smile lines um this is my favorite way of setting my under eyes as well as, well as my smile lines I'm taking my Fit Me Placed Powder in the shade um, Translucent and I'm just setting my entire makeup using this large fluffy powder brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm just finishing my eye makeup. For that, first I'm tight lining my eyes using my Jordana Easy Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Jet Black and I had to remove my contacts because for some reason my eyes were really really watery and kind of itchy so I had to remove my contacts. I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line using the matte black eyeshadow and the brush that i'm using is again from puna store and taking the shade mulberry i'm just um, applying it on the border of the black shade just um, to make it look put together i'm highlighting my brow bones as well as my inner corners using my maybelline molten gold highlighter which i'll be using for my face later on I'm just elongating the eyeliner on my inner corner so that my eyes look a little bit wider and bigger. I'm curling my natural lashes with my Revlon Eyelash Curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara. This is my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I have quickly used falsies off camera. These are my kiss lashes in this style Midnight. And I truly loved the way how the entire look came together. I think it is so unique. And please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below. It will mean a lot to me. I think this look is perfect for any outfit that you will be wearing on your big day. Now we need to finish the rest of my makeup. For that first I'm taking my uh, Physicians Formula Murumuru Water Bronzer in the shade Sunset Bronze and I'm just bronzing up my face to bring back that sun-kissed glow to the face. And basically I'm just applying it wherever I applied that Kim Contour. For my blush I'm going with my Limel Maxi Blush in the shade Wild Cut and I'm applying it on my cheeks, on my chin as well as on my nose and the brush that I'm using is from Flower Beauty. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Brush. For my highlighter I'm going with my Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter and I'm just setting the high points of my face using this Real Techniques uh, setting brush and you know the drill right? Like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose as well as on the center of my forehead I'm just setting my entire makeup using my illegal um, makeup setting spray and for my lips I'm first lining my lips using my essence lip liner in the shade I am shooketh and for my lipstick I'm going with my favorite red lipstick this is the iconic MAC Ruby O. Such a stunning red shade. And that is pretty much it. Here is the final look. All those jewelries are from Amazon and if i can find the link i will mention them in the description but down below so please go ahead and check that out i truly love the way how the entire look came together again it is just a perfect look for any color outfit that you will be wearing on your big day and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope this video was helpful for you if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and family it will mean a lot to me and if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, then please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar down below. So please go ahead and check that out. So yes, yeah, see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care. Bye.